One of the things that's changed about my practice over the last 10 years is the startling evolution of head and neck cancer. This used to be a disease that was commonly seen in heavy smokers and also heavy drinkers. And we have seen a 200% increase in the incidence of this cancer since the mid 80s. The alarming thing is that this is really bound to be related to the transmission of the human papillomavirus or HPV. Not as part of an active viral infection, but rather we believe that a chronic latent infection of HPV actually is the cause of this. The virus can take hold and hide in the, the lymph tissue in the back of the throat essentially for 10, 15, 20, even 30 years and gradually move from the lymphoid tissue into the epithelial tissue and tumors of the throat can then arise. There's been a lot of talk about how HPV is causing this and how HPV gets in the back of the throat. And there's been some good work that has implicated increasing numbers of oral sexual partners to throat cancer. And it's probably an interaction between exposure to the virus and a genetic susceptibility. We used to be seeing patients in their mid-60s and 70s who developed smoking-related throat cancers. And now with HPV, we're actually seeing patients in their 50s and their early 60s, and we believe it's probably related to HPV and a genetic susceptibility. But we're also seeing a significant improvement in their overall survival compared to patients whose tumors aren't associated with HPV. Who's at risk for this? It's hard to know. I think anybody who has a neck mass that lasts for longer than two or three weeks, that's bigger than your thumb, that probably ought to be checked out. The other thing that we are concerned about is any sort of chronic difficulty swallowing, weight loss, or ear pain that lasts consistently and chronically for longer than two to three weeks. I think sometimes when patients hear them been diagnosed with throat cancer, naturally they're scared. But I think here at Stanford we have a, a whole team that can really look at this problem that you, we're going to face with you from every angle.